the classification societies are old companies established back in the 1800s because the safety of the ships were, was very poor and the insurance companies, they needed someone to safeguard their, their, their values in a way. So um, at that time, uh, the classification concept was established and it was basically done in a way that surveyors or inspectors from the classification societies came on board the ships to verify safety of the ships. So we uh, in DNB, we want to kind of transform our way of doing surveys, going from having the inspectors on board to do visual service and function testing and instead get access to digital information and assess or verify the condition remotely. It's possible to reduce the time of the, having the surveyor on board which basically means that we interrupt the crew less and they can concentrate on their main task, which is to transport cargo from one place to another. The remote survey or the data-driven verification, as we call it, will work by MAN collecting data for their performance system. For our verification, we need at least some of the data collected by MAN. And in this work we are doing with MAN, we are looking for a kind of seamless link between the performance system from MAN and the data driven verification from, from DNB, which I think is a great advantage for the end operator that this is seamless and they don't need to jump from one system to another. It will also provide a continuous overview of class compliance on the operator side. Uh, it will give them the opportunity to act before things become critical. I think remote service can contribute to, uh, let's say, a more sustainable um, shipping industry. Because by collecting the data, and in the way we collaborate with MAN specifically, there is a close link between the work we do and, let's say, the performance uh, optimization that can be provided from MAN. MAN had the focus on the performance optimization part, we on the safety. And by interlinking these things, I believe that the fuel consumption from the ships can be optimized, which basically means that emissions will be less and that will lead to a more sustainable shipping industry.